Hello everyone. My name is Taisir Muhammad Farooq and I am studying in sixth semester. So today my topic about cloud computing is machine reference model. So understanding about machine reference model needs some knowledge about virtualization. So now let's have the contents. So the contents which we'll be discussing in today's presentation is the recap of virtualization, the need of virtualization, machine reference model, security rings and privileged mode. Coming to virtualization. Virtualization is a key component of cloud computing as it enables cloud providers to efficiently utilize their physical resources and offer flexible and scalable services to customers. Cloud providers use virtualization to create virtualized environments that allow customers to run their applications and services on virtual machines hosted on the cloud infrastructure. So why do we need virtualization? So that's the next slide, which will be uh, elaborating. So uh, we generally have uh, five basic points for the need of virtualization. So the first is enhanced performance, then limited use of hardware and software resources shortage of space, eco-friendly initiatives, and administrative costs. So let's explain one uh, by one in detail. So coming to the enhanced performance, uh, currently the end user systems is sufficiently powerful to fu fulfill all the basic computation requirements of the user with various additional capabilities which are rarely used by the user. Most of their systems have sufficient resources which can host a virtual machine manager and can perform a virtual machine with acceptable performances as well. So now coming to the next point, we have limited use of hardware and software resources. The limited use of sources re resources leads to underutilization of hardware and software resources. As all the PCs of the users are sufficiently capable to fulfill their regular computational needs, that's why many of their computers are, are used often, which can be used for 24 hours continuously. So next we have a shortage of space. The regular requirement for additional capacity uh, can be uh, a very useful uh, a part of virtualization. Like it, it will extend the, st uh, the shortage which you are facing because of the less space in your computers. So coming to the next point, we have uh, eco-friendly initiatives. At this time, corporations are actively seeking for various methods to minimize their expenditures on power, which is consumed by their systems. Data centers are main power consumers and maintaining a data center operation needs a continuous power supply as well as good amount of energy is needed to actually cool them. So, you know, we also need ACs or, you know, cooling systems which can actually you know, keep the data center school. So uh, the last point, administrative cost. Furthermore, the rise in demand for the capacity surplus that convert into more servers into data center accountable for a significant increase in administrative cost. Hardware monitoring, server setup and update defective hardware replacement, server resources monitoring and backups are included in the common system administration tasks. So, you know, uh, it, so this is the main need of your virtualization. So coming to the main topic for today is the machine reference model. So as you can see uh, that in the diagram, we have uh, API, ABI, ISA points, so which will be explaining it in detail. At the bottom layer, the model for the hardware is expressed in the terms of the instruction set architecture. So you can see ISA uh, written, which is actually standing for instruction set architecture, which defines the instruction set for the processors, register, memory, and interrupt management. So like for any faults or anything. ISA is the interface between hardware and software, and it is important to the operating system and developers of application that directly manage the underlying hardware. So in the bottom layer, you can see hardware and operating system above that. And in between, we have ISA. So coming to ABI, what do you mean by ABI? ABI stands for Application Binary Interface. Separates It separates the operating system layer from the application and libraries, which are managed by the operating system. ABI covers 
details such as low level data types alignment and call conventions and defines a format for executable programs system calls are defined at this level this interface allows portability of portability of applications and libraries across operating system that implement the same abi the highest level of abstraction is represented by the api which is application programming interface which interfaces applications to libraries or the underlying operating system so you can just see in the diagram all of these points are uh, uh, well uh, described so uh, coming to the next slide we have the continuation of the machine reference model the instruction set exposed by the hardware has been divided into different security classes that define who can operate with them the first distinction can be made between privileged and non privileged instruction which will be explained in the next slide non privileged instructions are those instructions that can be used without interfering with other tasks because they do not access shared resources this category contains all the floating fixed point and arithmetic instructions for example privileged instructions are those that are executed under specific restrictions are mostly used for sensitive operations which expose or modify the privileged state for instance if you can see the behavior sensitive instructions are those that operate on the input and output whereas control sensitive instructions alter the state of the cpu registers coming to the next point we have uh, security rings and privilege mode as we saw privileged and non privileged points in the in the previous slide we can now see a possible implementation features a hierarchy of privileges in the form of ring based on security in the uh, picture it is well described that the ring 0 ring 1 ring 2 and ring 3 are present ring 0 is in the most privileged level and the ring 3 is in the least privileged level ring 0 is used by the kernel of the os ring 1 are used by the os level services the ring 3 is used by the user and the recent system support only two levels with ring 0 for the supervisor mode and ring 3 for the user mode so here i am going to conclude my presentation for uh, the topic machine reference model i hope you liked it thank you